Hi there, this is a, a how-to tutorial, mainly for my friend Panther Gray, but for any of you who want to learn some basics on how to use these programs, this is will, this will help you a lot. Uh, I'm just going to cover basic drawing and using layers. A lot of people are confused by layers. The app I'm using on my iPad is called Art Studio. Right now it's plugged into my flat screen TV so you can see it. I'm holding my phone with one hand, so forgive me if I jiggle once in a while. First thing we want to do is select the pen and use black. I'm going to hold it down there and select, I think I'll use that brush. Tap on the screen. I'm going to change the size of the brush down here. First thing I can do is use gray. Now gray is going to be on my first layer. I'm just going to use it to lay out a rough. So in this case, we'll just use a simple box and we'll go from there. So the box, there, we have a box. Now you'll see this kind of icon right down here. And you tap on that and you create a layer by hitting the add button. There you go. It's now highlighted in blue and that's what we want to use. So tap on the screen. Now switch over to your black ink and you can pinch and zoom with two fingers just like anywhere on the iPad and now draw over it. There we go, simple. Now, again, let's go into layers and add another layer. This will be my coloring layer, and we'll use it now. So let's choose uh, different shades of tan for this box, just to keep it real easy. I'm gonna enlarge the size of my pen, and you can see that I'm coloring over the black lines. You can't really see it. If this bothers you, what you want to do is go back into your layers, choose your pen layer, hold it, and drag it up and above. There, now you can see yeah, your black lines are there. Now you can see the coloring layer is still highlighted, so we're still coloring. There you go. Now I'm going to click on the color box and I'm going to change the shade of tan to maybe a lighter color on the top of the box. There we go. And then the side, we'll say that the light is coming from this side over here. Undo. So that side over there on the left is going to be darker. So there. Now this is just really fast and dirty just to give you guys an idea of how this layers thing works. Now usually what you would do is you take your eraser and you'd go in you'd tidy it up all on the outside. You see how I did that? You get the idea. Now go into your layers and now you can start merging them. On some you can merge one at a time and this one you merge them all. I haven't quite learned out how to merge one at a time yet. So first thing I'm going to do is take this layer here and I want to erase, because I want to keep the white background, I want to erase my pencil lines. Whoops, undo. I'm going to take the eraser, there we go, erase, and I'm going to erase those lines. Now you can't really see it right now, so let's make it to the top. And then you can, see? So, let's erase those. Go back to my layers. I'm going to take it back down to the bottom. I want my pen on top, otherwise it looks like this. Just a big blob. So put your pen lines on top. Now just merge them all. Merge visible. And you're done. Simple as that, using layers. The tricky stuff gets into the pens and brushes and stuff, and that's on a whole nother lesson. Alright, there you go, Patrick, and anybody else who's watching. Cheers.